the night speed drag wars are the perfect place for any type of vehicle to give it a go down the drag strip. Whether it's a mini or a fire breathing V8, there's a class for everyone. This car. V8 drivers know where to park. Throughout the night, we caught up with a few of the regulars to see how they were going. Yeah, the track looks all right. We'll see how it goes. It's the, it's the first time on a prep track, so it'll be interesting to see how it hooks up and gets the power down. Because that's been a problem up to now, has been getting the power down to the track. So I'm pretty hopeful. Uh, mid-12, the track's worth it. If not, we low, low 30. Eight-second Datsun pilot Rod Harvey turned up in his tow vehicle, as did magwarehouse.com's Lance Evans, to prove it's not about how quick you go, but how much fun you can have. Normally running eight seconds, but tonight we thought we'd uh, see how the tow vehicle goes. Should be quite interesting. Um, these trucks are very fast production truck. In the States, they supposedly do a 13.8 quarter mile, but uh, we'll see how it goes. She's a 350 Chev. It's got an underhood blower on it now. It produces about 360 horse. It weighs about two and a half tonne. It's a bit hard to get off the line. We've got a limited slip diff in it, uh, 1500 watts with a stereo, two TV, so I won't get bored while I'm doing my 15 second run. Um, my bucket I built back in about 97, and it's just got faster over the years. Um, it runs a 355 Chevy, and we run a Ford 9 inch diff. It's got four 56 gears. You get a bit of respect from the older guys, but the young fellas kind of look at you a bit sideways and say, what are you doing racing that? This uh, lovely little Lancer here used to be a diesel. Um, it's now about 550 of the wheels. Um, fuel pumps, turbo, all that sort of usual stuff. We only got a gun at 5 o'clock tonight because we melted a piston yesterday. So, yeah, hopefully it still goes by when I go to go home in it. It wasn't to be, though, for Lightning Motorsports' Glenn, as his night ended early due to an electrical problem. It's a, a 1UZ Toyota engine um, out of a Toyota Celsius. Um, bolted up to uh, a 97 Toyota Supra 5-speed. In the back I've got a, um, a Series 5 RX-7 LSD. Um, pretty pretty difficult, you know, difficult conversion, eh? I wouldn't yeah, I'd do it again. Yeah, no, I actually had um, the officials come running up to my car when I first did my first run, saying I've got the wrong number on it, C4. And then they come running up to me again and ask the same thing, so... Andrew Smith and his V8-powered MX-5 only managed two runs, the best being 13.9 before being knocked out. Hi, uh, my name's Paul. Uh, this is uh, my own and my brother John's GDI. Uh, it's not an NA anymore. Uh, it's now got a GDI R 2 litre SR20 DET uh, with a T34 turbo on it. The Rothery Brothers Nissan Pulsar, which is currently the country's fastest road legal front wheel drive, did not disappoint and ran quicker than its previous best with an 11.113 at 197 kilometres an hour. One turbo four-wheel drive final was taken out comfortably by Glenn Stewart in his R32 Skyline GTR with a time of 11.503. The C2 final saw Jason Olsen and his not-so-standard 79 Datsun lined up against the R32 Skyline belonging to Carl Reitemann. But the rotary-powered Datsun was too quick for the Skyline, a 12.82 sealing the win. As has been the case lately, Daniel Johnson and his RX2 was matched up against James Stock's 323 wagon in the C3 All-Motor Final. The RX2 only just having the goods over the 323 with a 12.3 second. In the Fast 8s, David Hunter laid down an 11.88 to claim the C4 title. 
Ross Newby proved too consistent for Adam Carpenter in the DYO class. The 84 Commodore showing up its younger brother, running a 14.409. And this rapid tea bucket lay claim to the Pro Street class title with the fastest run of the night at 9.883. But Graham McDonald in the Croydon Toyota Supra wouldn't have been too disappointed, improving his PB with a 10.884 at 204.75 kilometres per hour on the slippery track. Yeah.